uh, productive life without any one of your senses. Um, Sister Karen declared for a few times that when you lose one of her friends said, when you lost your sight, you begin to lose a sense of your, your smell. So, you, so, and I knew, I've experienced a, someone who had a similar experience. No eyesight and no, wasn't able to smell. So you can live a, a productive life with a few of your senses gone. But you cannot live a life, a productive life. You cannot live a productive life without faith. You see, faith makes the word travel south for the winter. Faith makes the salmon fish swim upstream. Encounter all sorts of danger. Encounter fishermen and bears and wolves and many things and they still go upstream where they lay their egg and the men they spread their seed and then they die right after. Faith makes the infant child suck when the mother puts her breast in his mouth. So you can live a life without many of your senses. I'm, I, um, I was sitting in work one day and my friend told me about this experience he had in the Dominican Republic and he saw a baseball league full of blind, they were all black. They were all black and there's a baseball league. And he says that he was standing behind the gate and, and he was talking to his friend and he says to his friend, um, how, how, how do they know where the ball is? How, how do they know where the ball is? And a blind man, the pitcher, threw the ball and it hit the fence. If the fence wasn't there, the ball may, may have hit him. He, and the blind man said, that's how we know where the ball is. <laughs> you can Google it and check it out and see blind people playing baseball. They call it beatball. <laughs> you see? You see, so you can live a productive life without faith, but without, without one of your senses. Right. But you cannot live a productive life without faith. With the Knowledge, what is the difference between knowledge and faith? And I have had this conversation before. And, um, um, you know, what is the difference between knowledge and faith? Knowledge is an experience that you had the pleasure to encounter before. Faith is an ex is a is when a new situation arrives. You see. Knowledge is man's belief in man's abilities, and knowledge is man's belief in earthly things. And that, that is what man's belief is. Once upon a time, man knew that the earth was flat. Once upon a time, man knew that man could not fly. But now, God has made the impossible happen. You see, somewhere along the line, someone had the determination. You know what? I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to know. I am going to. I am going to make a way for this to happen. I'm going to ask God to guide me through this step. Now we can fly from here to Trinidad and without any worries or without it. Once upon a time, that was witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> uh, faith is only in faith we be can we can become we can begin to know God. Only in faith we can 
Only in faith we can begin to know God's ability. Amen. Only Amen. in faith well, can we begin to understand or grasp the understanding of how God operates. Amen. 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 You see, Job, we all know the story of Job. Amen. And it came a time when Job, he was just frustrated. He, he began to give into the things all of his people were saying. You know, he began to give into these things. And um, God answered him. God, God, God answered him and said, man up. Mm -hmm. Man up. Mm -hmm. 